In this video, we're going to complete example two. It says use the cosine rule to calculate the value of theta in the following triangle, correct to the nearest minute. So in this particular example, we're actually finding an angle this time. So I'm going to mark this angle with a capital C because I want C to be where the angle is. That means the other two vertices are going to have a capital A and a capital B really doesn't matter what order we do it in and then we need to put in our lowercase letters opposite capital C is lowercase C opposite capital A is lowercase A opposite capital B is lowercase B now we can just copy our formula down and we can substitute our values into this formula now capital C is now theta so we'll change it for theta and lowercase a is the number 20 so we have 20 squared at the top lowercase b is 24 so 24 squared at the top and lowercase c is 23 so 23 squared at the top of our fraction at the bottom of our fraction we're going to have 2 times a times b a being 20 and b being 20 now we could put this into our calculator but it can cause some problems we're going to work out the right side of the equal signs so we're going to leave cos theta as cos theta for now and I'm going to give a little pointer here it is actually extremely important that you put everything at the top of the fraction in brackets and everything at the bottom of the fraction in brackets as well in fact, I'm going to show you why this is important with a really, really simple example. 1 plus 2 over 3. Let's say you were going to work this out. Usually when you work this out, you go, all right, I'll, I'll go 1 plus 2. I'm going to add up the top part of my fraction. It gives me 3. And then 3 over 3 equals 1. 3 divided 3 is 1. Now look at what happens when I put it in my calculator 1 plus 2 divide 3 it has not given me the answer of 1 now why has it done this and have a look at your calculator look how I've written it 1 plus 2 divide 3 1 plus 2 divide 3 it actually was very important that I put the 1 and the 2 in brackets to force the calculator to add first. Calculators always want to divide before they add. So I'm going to rewrite that with brackets. Bracket 1 plus 2, close the bracket, divide 3. Okay, now I get my solution of 1. So that's what we're going to do with our fraction here. In fact, we need to put the top part of the fraction in brackets and the bottom part of the fraction in brackets. It actually doesn't hurt to put too many sets of brackets in. It's not going to change your solution anyway. Okay, so let's bring up our calculator and we're going to go open bracket 20 squared plus 24 squared minus 23 squared close the brackets now I'm just going to treat this like division you can do it like a fraction but I prefer to treat things as division divide bracket 2 times 20 times 24 close our brackets equals and here's our solution uh, 0 0.465625 so we have 0 0.465 I need to look again 625 all right notice I haven't really rounded it yet I haven't rounded it because I haven't got to my final solution yet now if we want to find theta we need to bring cos to the other side Theta will equal inverse cos of this number, 0 0.465625. Close my brackets now. I'll bring up the calculator. It's kept the number on the calculator, so I'm not going to clear it. I'm going to leave the number there. I'm going to go second function cos, and it will remember to put that previous solution in there. Equals, there's our answer. It's, it's about 62 degrees. They want it to the nearest minute so I'm going to go second function DMS and 
this is a, a good question because it involves rounding. 62 degrees, and it's not 14 minutes. Look at your seconds. My seconds are almost 60 seconds. They're more than 30 seconds. So I've got to round my minutes up to 15 minutes. So we'll say 62 degrees, 15 minutes. Anyway, that concludes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.